foliage plant for the tropical and exotic look garden don't come much more impressive than the Anseti morellii, commonly known as the Ethiopian black banana. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow the Anseti banana, as well as storing them dry over winter. And you don't need loads of space, and you definitely don't need a greenhouse. Anseti bananas grow best in moist soil enriched with plenty of organic matter, and they will grow in the ground or in a pot. And you can also grow these banana plants in full sun or part shade, and you'll actually probably get slightly larger leaves in part shade as the plant tries to capture as much sunlight as possible. This Anseti banana was grown in a pot for its first year, and then I tried it in the ground for the second year, which meant I had to lift it and dry store it to get it through winter. And dry storing your exotic banana plant is not a difficult process and it can be done in any space. Let me show you how. After you've spent the summer enjoying the stunning foliage on your banana plant, you need to lift it as the first frosts of the winter start to come in. The root ball on Anseti bananas is surprisingly small considering the size of the leaves on this plant. So it's not that difficult to dig out. And you can see exactly what I mean here. Look at the size of that root ball compared to the size of the leaves on this thing. So the first stage of prepping the Anseti banana plant for dry winter storage is removing any plant material that is going to hold moisture and encourage rot. Unfortunately for us, it means taking the painful decision of cutting off those leaves that you've spent all summer trying to grow. But don't worry, next summer they will all grow back. And be brave with these cuts. You want to take away as much of the water retaining plant material as you can, because all of this water will just encourage rot when you're trying to dry store your plant. Even so, I just had to take a minute to appreciate the size of this last leaf just before I cut it off. The second step in prepping your Anseti banana for dry winter storage is hosing all of the soil away from the roots. And by propping it upside down like this, you can see water dripping out from those fresh leaf cuts we've just made. This is exactly what we want to happen and it will enable us to dry store this Anseti banana in a dormant state. Okay, so the soil on the roots. This will also hold on to moisture and encourage rot. So we want to increase the airflow around the base of the plant and we're going to hose away as much of the soil as possible. And here's a professional tip. Stand back. The soil goes everywhere, but you need to be thorough and get as much soil away as you can. And after hosing it down, I prop it upside down outside to dry out as much as possible before putting it into the shed for the long, cold, dark winter months. And as the winter months pass and the weather starts to warm, in spring, I wander into the shed to see how our dry stored and seti banana has fared through winter. A closer look shows me some worrying signs of rot at the top of the plant. But so long as the base of the plant is still okay, this can be dealt with. Let's get the plant outside and see how it looks. So with our Inseti banana out into the spring sunshine for the first time in months, we can see that the top of the plant has suffered from winter rot, but the base is actually in great condition. So we just need to make a brave cut to remove the rot from this plant before potting it up. Using a clean saw, I'm going to make a bold cut into the stem of this Anseti banana plant with the aim of removing all of the rotting material while retaining as much height in the plant as possible. And believe me, I was as scared doing this as you will be, but it's worth it because you can see from this clean cut, the center of the stem is packed with fresh new leaves waiting to burst out and they have no sign of rot. Perfect. 
With all of this spring prep done, it's time to pot up our Insetti banana for another season of stunning exotic foliage. I'm using a compost rich in organic matter to help fuel this banana's lush, jungly, leafy growth. And I'm firming it in really well around the roots of this plant to ensure that it has good contact to help it to start to grow away. And with all of this done, the banana is securely potted up and almost ready to start growing away for the coming season. But at this stage, it's still spring and you don't want to risk any damage to the banana. So I'm not watering it in. And it might seem weird to pot it up and not water it. But at this stage, I'm gradually bringing the banana plant out of its winter dormancy. And I don't want it sat in wet, cold compost. And at this stage, if there is any threat of frost forecast, I'll wrap the banana in horticultural fleece, which is a great material for protecting exotic plants. It's breathable, so it doesn't seal in moisture but let sunlight in so that the plant can photosynthesize. And there's a link as to where you can buy some of this horticultural fleece in the description of this video. And I just use garden twine to tie the fleece into place to stop winds blowing it off overnight. A few days later and the risk of frost has passed. So I removed the fleece to see how my banana is doing. And you can see that central fresh new leaf growth is starting to push up through. It's a good sign. The banana is growing and it's coming out of dormancy. So with that knowledge, and now the weather is warmed, it's time for me to give the banana some water. This will really kickstart it into growth. And before long, you'll be enjoying those enormous, exotic and seti leaves again. I hope this video has inspired you to have a go at growing the Ansetti Morelii banana. If you like this video, please hit subscribe to join the Tropical Tribe, a community of people watching these videos, helping each other grow their own patch of paradise. And if you're looking for more plant inspiration and tropical garden ideas, please check out the Tiny Tropical Garden website and all of the other useful links in the description below this video. Thank you for watching.